And breaking news coming in. Those who survived this ordeal, the survivors and the victims of the kin have hit out, claiming that the people on the boat were struggling for more than one hour. They claim there were no life jackets, no wireless phones and no safety equipment on the boat. Shisha is joining us on the phone line. Shisha, clearly there were no checks and balances in place. The regular safety requirements that are mandatory were not there. Well, that's right, Mahuru. That was the first person's account. That was the two I was said who had actually uh, landed at the Chennai airport a while back. Uh, they had uh, they had told us that there were no life jackets. One, the second one is that there were a few life jackets that the tourists have bought with them, and even they did not wear that. And uh, the boat driver uh, also did not uh, even tell them or even uh, instruct them to wear those life jackets. So that is one thing. The second one is that what the people have been saying uh, once a boat capsized. No one was there to help them, so there was there was no connection. There was no wireless phone to even inform uh, the fellow boats or uh, the the fellow tourists or their company to come and rescue them. So there was a delay in uh, the, the arrival of the rescue team. Second, and the third one is that uh, the boat, which was about to take only 25 passengers on board, had actually taken more than 45. So that is the main reason why the boat had capsized. Is what the tourists and survivors who had uh, landed at the Chennai airport told us. So it's very pathetic that uh, from families that just person survived. So a person, 62 year old Yagara Singh just survived and five, four of them who travelled along with all died in this uh, tragedy. So it's a heart wrenching incident that happened uh, uh, right. know, in uh, a boat there and uh, the account, what, whatever these uh, survivors say, it, 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 it's full of... Uh, Shisha Reddy, they're giving us more details. Clear, uh, clearly, this is not just a tragedy, but something that was waiting to happen because of pure negligence and not following the rules. We have a, a soundbite of a victim as well. Plus, there is no life jacket, there is no uh, wireless phone, nothing else in this boat. The private boat, what they are, there, there is no safety in the private boat. How come the other tourists will come here after? So the, basically, Andaman and Nicobar is full of highland. The travel is only boat. They should have all the life uh, security measures. A massive tragedy. Overcrowded tourist ferry sinks off Andaman coast. The incident of boat capsizing in Andaman and Nicobar Island near Port Blair has left almost 21 people dead. No life jackets, no help for hours. A majesty inquiry has been ordered by the Andaman Nicobar administration. The only channel on Ground Zero. Headlines today, because you matter.